What is going on, nieces and nephews? Your favorite Uncle Mother Cat is back with another video. And today, we're going to be trying Blue Bell Dr. Pepper Float, folks. That's right. You've heard it right. Your eyes are not deceiving you, okay? It's Blue Bell Dr. Pepper Float. Vanilla flavored ice cream with a Dr. Pepper flavor and sherbet swirls. I ain't never had this. Just saw it on Facebook and thought, hmm, maybe I'll give it a shot. Look at there, folks. Does look like a squirrel. All right, let's get us a ice cream. Got a paper bowl over here. You know, you can't use a paper spoon on ice cream because every time you go to it, goes poof, it breaks off. All right, I'm gonna get me some good old ice cream here, dude. I'm probably gonna get a good amount too. I ain't had ice cream in a while, so why not? You know. All right, let's see if this tastes like Dr. Pepper or not. There seems to be a glare. So let's move over here. Well, heck, there's going to be a glare everywhere. Daggum freaking thing up here. Nonetheless, we'll, we'll ignore it. Let's dig into this Dr. Pepper ice cream, shall we? Well, Dr. Pepper float. Okay. Okay. Smells good. Let me get another tight, another tight, another bite. That's not bad. I mean, I've never put Dr. Pepper in ice cream before. It's always been like root beer, you know, Byron's or AEW root beer. But I've never had Dr. Pepper. But I'm just going to automatically assume, based off the ice cream itself, if you just got vanilla ice cream and you just pour Dr. Pepper in it, this is what you would get. It's not bad. Not bad at all, y'all. This would be good if you put it in the blender and you would have yourself a nice freaking milkshake, my boys and girls. It'll be delicious. Anybody's ever done that? You know, I can't be the only one that has gotten ice cream, put it in the blender and try to make a milkshake or better yet, or have it in a good plastic bowl and take the daggone spoon and stir it up to it's nice and thick and then you eat it. I've done that before, too. I can't be the only one that thinks of these things or do these things. Mmm. Mm-mm. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not too sweet. It's like it's the right combination of vanilla and Dr. Pepper. But I'm going to take another bite here just to be sure I'm right. Oh yeah, it's just the right amount. Now it's gonna be difficult to choose between Dr. Pepper and root beer. But here's what I would advise you boys and girls to do at home. I mean, it is summer, it's hot out. Try mixing and matching different sodas to see which one you like best. Whether it be Mountain Dew or any flavor of Mountain Dew, or Dr. Pepper, and so forth. And see which one's your favorite. Hmm, mm -mm. This is actually pretty good. Before we end the video, and, you know, me give you all my rating, uh, have y'all ever been inside a Bluebell ice cream factory before? I know I have, but it's been years and years ago. I used to enjoy it as a kid. I mean, what kid wouldn't get free ice cream and get the sample in them? You know what I'm saying? That's freaking delicious, man. I go ahead and tell you right now. If I had to give this a rating. Uh, I mean, that that's a tough one right there on its own right there, y'all. It's not bad at all. 
course, I'm not real big into sweets, you know. I, I stopped eating candy and all that stuff, so. But I'm going to give it a good, honest rating here after I take another bite. Uh, I'll give it a three and a half out of five. That's what I'll give it. I mean, it does have the right amount of Dr. Pepper and the right amount of vanilla. But overall, I feel like you you can do this with just vanilla ice cream by itself and whatever freaking soda you want. You know what I'm saying? You can do that. You can mix any beverage, as a matter of fact, with ice cream and see which one you like better. But overall, I like the... I like the theme that they was going for. Because for a while, the only thing we heard of was root beer float. Now we got a Dr. Pepper float. But in, re in all reality, anything can be made into a float. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not bad. You know, in all honesty, it is not bad at all. It's very delicious. It's not too sweet. I mean, it might say it's sweet on here. Good God Almighty. 22 grams of sugar includes 18 grams added sugar. There you go. Mm. Heck, in the ingredients, they, they don't even put Dr. Pepper on there, which is weird. It's just natural and artificial flavoring. If you want the real deal, just get you some vanilla ice cream and just add the Dr. Pepper. Or whatever. Mm. Overall, it tastes all right. Uh, give y'all one final look here at the uh, Blue Bill Ice Cream Dr. Pepper Float. Well, nieces and nephews. This has been your favorite Uncle Mud Kit. And if you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when you do subscribe, when you see that bell right there, you want to click on it. And you want to make sure your notifications are turned on. That way, when I upload a new video, y'all be aware of it. Till next time, nieces and nephews, this has been your favorite Uncle Mud Kit. And if you enjoy milkshakes and ice cream and all kinds of good treats, it is summertime. Save yourself some money from the ice cream truck and go get you some of this mess and go buck wild with it. You know, add all kind of daggum freaking things you want to it. And let Uncle Mudcat know how it turned out because I might make a video on it. See y'all later, nieces and nephews.